Hello and welcome to the Virtual Planetarium with me, Andromeda. This is a place to send your questions about space, science and the universe and we'll try our best to give you an answer. Today we have an email from Colin in Lisburn. Colin is doing a school project on the Space Shuttle and he wants to know how do rockets take off? Okay Colin, let's prepare for liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one. This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis taking off for a trip to the International Space Station. The shuttle's engine requires so much fuel that it has to be attached to a huge fuel tank. This tank is so heavy that the shuttle can't lift it off the ground by itself. It needs a little extra help, and this comes from two solid rocket boosters, which are powerful enough to launch the shuttle and its fuel tank into the air. But how do rockets take off? How do they conquer gravity? Let's speak to our own rocket scientist, Al Debron, to find out more. Thank you, Al. Well, many years ago, a famous scientist called Sir Isaac Newton explained how things take off with his third law of motion. This says, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, basically, if I take this balloon and release it, air flies out one end and the balloon flies off in the other. Let's see it happen. So, let's go over to Armagh Planetarium, where a clever scientist is about to launch his very own rockets. First, the scientist fills a plastic film canister, a quarter full with water. Then, he pops in a fizzy tablet, puts on the lid and gives it a quick shake. He puts the canister upside down on the ground and stands well back. Wow, that was great. Can we see that again, please? Amazing! The tablet and the water formed a gas called carbon dioxide. There was no room for the gas in the film canister, so it popped up in the lid and rushed out. The canister then had to go in the opposite direction due to Newton's third law. And this is why it flew up into the air. Well, I've certainly had a blast here today. And as you can see, rocket science is really taking off in a big way here. So, over to you in the studio, Anne. <laughs> Great report, Al. So, that's how rockets manage to lift off the ground. Now, unfortunately, once the shuttle takes off, it doesn't need the rockets anymore, so it throws them off and they land in the sea. And then it doesn't need the fuel tank anymore either, so it falls off and burns up in the atmosphere. So, why not make your own space rocket and launch it outside? Maybe you could find a way to get yours to go even higher by adding more fuel or a different type of fuel. However you get on, make sure you let us know. You can even send us a picture and we'll put it up in our gallery. In the meantime, if you have any more questions on space, science or the universe, send them here to us at the Virtual Planetarium and we'll try to find an answer. And remember, do try this at home. Goodbye.